How is it going everybody? Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whenever you're watching this. It is 2 o'clock in the morning here, just got done with work. Uh, productive day though on my break because I finally finished, started this in June with a buddy read, with a buddy at work, of War and Ruin by Ryan Kyle, book three. I'm caught up with everybody else. Uh, who are now waiting and I, I just got an alert today from Ryan Cahill's uh, email list he's looking at February 2025 as the next the final book I think it's called uh, Dust and Empires uh, something like that over a thousand pages we were reading about maybe a chapter a day uh, we'd squeeze in you know Try to squeeze in shorter chapters as well. Been reading it since June 21st of 2024. So right at the beginning of summer. Finally finishing it. Uh, whole summer of reading. Absolutely loved it. Um, it. There's a lot of stuff in this book. A lot of characters that it, it it's, it's hard to keep track of. Um, so it's it's but it's on that that tier list of great fantasy can't really talk too much about it because it's going to be spoiling uh but if you like the dragons if you like action adventure fantasy magic druids battle mages you'll probably like uh this is the bound in the broken books by ryan kyle um and yeah, I will be there day one when the fourth book, fourth and final comes. I cannot wait to see how it all ends. Uh, this is just epic fantasy at its most epicness. Of War and Ruin, Ryan Cahill. Excellent book. I also finished a book yesterday. I'm on a roll. Finishing two books in two days. Oh, it's great. It's great. I finished Mark Gra uh, Graney's Mission Critical, Book 8 in the Gray Man series. What is Court Gentry? That's the Gray Man. What's he doing in this book? Well, he was on his way home to America when all of a sudden he has to um, also catch a ride with some CIA agents and a, uh, a man with a hood over his head and handcuffed. Obviously, they're a prisoner. And they stop for fuel and... A group of guys come and kill everybody on the plane and take the prisoner, uh, excluding Court. They don't kill him because, you know, he's the hero. Can't kill the hero. Anyway, and so ensues his next adventure. He is tasked with finding out who, who took this guy. Who took this guy. And his bosses are being kind of like, well, you can't really know because you're... You don't know, but Court's like, well, if you want me to go find this person, you're going to have to go. And just takes off another adventure on who this guy is. Wasn't the best Greyman series. I, did, I gave it two and a half stars. Um, but still, it's a really quick read. I started this because I had to get it back to the library on the 8th. And I, I remember I started this on the 1st. So I what, two days ago, three days ago? Uh, whatever. Time is mushing together. But yeah, so mission critical, two and a half stars. Uh, I still am looking forward to the next one, but uh, there's that one. All right, two books I finished. What am I going with now? What uh, What's the next up? Well, I'm back in the Sun Eater series. We've got Disquiet Gods by Christopher Rocchio. I'm about 100 pages in. Yeah, over a little bit over a hundred. So I'm doing well, doing well. Uh, reading this um, with Jose over at Amazing Worlds, uh, and uh, you know, this series has been kind of up and down for me. Uh, I love. I, I think I liked the first book and enjoyed the second book, if I remember correctly. But then it just took, it took kind of took a. A turn where I wasn't enjoying it as much, um, and this is the. Did I say it just said it was book six, uh, three through five 
were okay. Um, I think book four I really had a problem with. I think I, I did not like four. Uh, and then book five was coming up on that roller coaster. Uh, this one, I will say, it's kind of weird how it starts. It's kind of horror-ishy, like, uh, like the movie Alien, sort of. Not that's what that's just my vibes. There's nothing like going on that it's just this weird kind of horror element that I kind of like. And it's October. I don't know if uh, Jose's getting that impression, but the uh, first hundred pages a little horror vibe going on. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, still not 100 percent sure what's going on, but uh, that, was a, that was with this series. I was I I, I was I had a hard time uh, figuring out. I'm not a huge. This is a lot of hard science fiction. I, not really hard science fiction. I don't know. A lot of stuff going on that uh, I still don't know. understand. That might be just on purpose as well. Uh, just kind of leading the reader, trying to figure out what's going on. But, uh, yeah, 100, 100 pages in. We're working on that one. And then, next book, sticking with the October feel, the Halloween fear. We've got a little indie book here. Got to support those indie offers, right? The Terror at Turtle Shell Mountain uh, by Sean McDonough. Basically, you've got your Disney World type amusement park. And things are not all that they seem in this park. This follows a group of friends who go there and... Um, Apparently, a bunch of people die, but then the real nightmare begins. So we got some... I don't think this is like a slasher film or book, which I kind of like. I want to get more slasher books in. So if you have any recommendations for slasher books, I read Clown in the Cornfield by Adam Cesar and loved that one. And then the second one I didn't really care for. And I know there's a third one out, so maybe I'll try that one. I think it's out. Anyway, this might have to... This might be a little more supernatural type horror uh maybe demon type horror uh so we'll see i kind of want a slasher book so we'll see we'll see what's going on and finally now that uh, i am done with the ryan cahill book book the co-worker and i have to pick another book to read together and we are in the middle of aragon as well the aragon series so we're going back to that one uh, book three, Rissinger by Christopher Paolini. Aragon, to me, was okay. And then, was it Eldest? I hated it. I just, I hated Eldest. Did not like it. But, I'm mad at my work. We're going to do the series. I refuse to do Murtaugh. Um, until, unless this stuff picks up. Because, so far, I am not enjoying this. Um, but this is the next one. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I know a lot of people like that series. But then I also know a lot of people who don't. And I'm going to probably fall into that category of don't like it. But it's an easy read. So, whatever. Um, that's all I got. So, uh, take care, everybody. And have a good one.